So if there's one thing that the last year or two has shown us here on planet Earth, we humans, it's how our world is truly governed. And I don't really get into politics a lot. Um, all I'm going to say is I think everybody knows now that what we believed to be the control structure of our planet where it's democratic or it's a, um, you know, like a, a republic, like we live in a republic where we all get a vote and people go represent us, our elected officials, they don't represent us. They represent the money classes. And I'm not even saying that money is bad. I think money is fine. It's just what you can do with it, right? It's like anything else. It's like fire, right? You can use fire to do something very useful, like cook a meal or heat your home, or you can burn down a whole city. Well, same thing is true with money. And the power class, they have been showing themselves very much lately. It's just, they're not gonna come right out and tell you that's who they are. They're not gonna tell you on CNN what their diabolical plans are. You have to dig a little bit deeper, you know, read their books, um, understand their philosophy and how they believe that they are above the rest of us. They look at us like we're a bunch of serfs, like we're property. Now, I didn't make this video to open up that can of worms. I just wanna introduce an interesting concept to you about this. So even this control structure and the people who run that, you really can't look at them as being separate from you, okay? You have to take ownership of everything and everybody on this planet because here's the thing, the reason that this control grid won't be allowed to exist any longer is a thing called unity consciousness. And unity consciousness is consciousness. And it's the only thing that's real. And the universe is taking strides right now to ensure that nobody is gonna be able to exist in separation consciousness, right? So uh, competition, right? So there's a me and there's a you. There's the good guys. And there's the bad guys, and we have to stop the bad guys. Well, you just have to look at even the elite controllers as a part of you who just forgot who they were, okay? So without forsaking them, because if you do that, if you treat it like they are this separate evil entity from you that has to be stopped, then you're basically doing the same thing that they are. You're, you're viewing this group of people as separate from you. And I'm not saying that what they're doing is great. <clears throat> it's not, but why are they doing that? Well, it's some other piece of the whole that forgot who it was. And you really have to take ownership of that. Everyone and everything on this planet, good, bad, light, or dark, okay? The whole notion of separation is exactly what isn't gonna be allowed to exist anymore. And that's the thing about this new earth energy that people don't understand. And again, I'm not saying let's be okay with what they're doing and, and the, the just unabashed despotism that these people stand for and basically enslaving us, you know, treating us like a bunch of serfs. They look at us like we're their property and they think it's their right to herd us around like a bunch of mindless cattle, but it isn't going to work. Okay, it's not going to work because we take ownership of them. You need to take ownership of everything in your life, even the people that you consider enemies. Okay, they are a part of you. They are a part of the whole. And that's why they're not going to be able to exist anymore. They're going to be forced to blend in with the universal energy of source. Okay, the energy of oneness. That's who you really are. And that's who they are too. They just forgot that. And there's no escaping that. They can't escape ultimate reality. And so it's ridiculous for them to think that they're going to roll out these diabolical plans. They're going to enslave us. They're going to hurt us in super compact mega cities where travel is restricted. And, you know, it's going to be a dystopian hellhole like 1984 or a brave new world. It's not going to happen. Okay. You can't stop the universe from being the universe. You can't stop 
what is from being what is. Okay, we already are one. There already is no separation. It's an illusion. They just think they can embrace the illusion. But here's the thing. What's funny about these people is they know that that's what they're doing. They know they're embracing an illusion. Okay, that's what's so weird about what they're doing. So I don't know, guys. I don't know why they do it, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I guess you could just say it's ego, but they forgot who they were. And that's all it is. That's all it is. We have to embrace the whole. Okay, we have to look at the entirety of human history and all the hardships and all the bad actors and bad things that we've been through as a part of who we are and not forsake the dark. There's yin and there's yang. There's light and there's dark. It's part of what is. And when you stop rejecting and resisting any part of the whole, that's when you alchemize it and it all becomes light. So that's what I mean when I say these people and their diabolical schemes, they're just not going to be allowed to exist. And it's not really that they're not allowed to exist. It's more like they won't be able to exist. It's impossible. And if you fill a room full of helium and you try to inject some other less dense gas into that room, it's, it's not even going to go in the room. You understand what I'm saying? It just won't be able to exist on this planet anymore. But you guys watching this video, you're on the front lines of this. Okay, so we have to get out of this separation consciousness. You have to take ownership of everything that we've ever gone through and experienced as a race, good or bad light or dark. And I'm not saying that I agree with everything that humans have done. Certainly not. But we have to take ownership of that, okay, and see that there is no separation. That's how you end that. That's how you alchemize this illusion of separation. So please join me on the new earth energy system already taking hold here on our planet. Thank you for watching.